Good morning, good afternoon. Thank you guys for joining us today for Quest Forum Digital Event. You've joined us for Oracle Speaks, Conversational AI for Oracle Applications with the Chatbot, uh, presented by Oracle. A couple of things to let you know before we get started, all phone lines are muted, but if you have questions, feel free to drop them through the question module, and we'll spend some time at the end answering any of those questions that have come through. Um, also, wanted to let you guys know we are recording this session. We'll be posting it on our library and following up with you guys on how to access that information. Again, for anybody that just joined, phone lines are muted, but feel free to drop questions through the question module, and we'll spend some time answering those at the end of the session. So at this point in time, I'm going to turn it over to Joe to get us kicked off for Oracle Speaks, conversational AI for Oracle applications with a chatbot. Great, thank you. And uh, welcome to the uh, Oracle Speaks, um, conversational AI for Oracle applications with a digital assistant. My name is Joe Huang. I'm part of the uh, product management team for Oracle Digital Assistant uh, here at Oracle. And with me, I'm honored and glad to have also three of my colleagues to present with me. Uh, Laura Malint from the uh, Oracle CX sales uh, cloud team, uh, David Bain, um, I think most of you probably know David, from Oracle PeopleSoft team, and also uh, our Irwin Rose from um, our Oracle JD Edwards team. And we're going to talk about how Oracle is building digital system across the board. Um, and uh, that's what we're trying, um, we're hoping to, uh, to um, uh, discuss today. All right. Um, I think it's um, it's pretty clear that we're at another cusp of a digital disruption and and uh, or technology breakthrough. And this time's around uh, the digital system and conversational user interface. We have gone through these type of evolution before with um, uh, the World Wide Web in the 90s and the uh, uh, the mobile application in the 2000s. And uh, now the conversational speech recognition technology and um, um, conversational AI technology has matured enough to really push us to the next level of being able to deliver a very natural user experience through a conversational user interface. And uh, from what all those di these different um, uh, new technologies and what we call digital uh, disruption, um, really there's a few things that are really critical today to the enterprises, uh, be able to connect with um, um, your customers, or employees, agility, and be able to continue the, the business, especially in the current environment uh, today. And obviously, technology has a big role to play in the um, um, in all this in terms of employee productivity, speed to market, and an operational efficiency. So that's what digital assistant is going to bring to the table. What is exactly is when we're talking about digital system? What exactly is it? It is a uh, conversational AI um, engine and platform. It is a AI powered text and voice interface to for user interactions um, with applications on any kind of a channel using language of uh, choice. Right. So what does that mean? This is, gosh, this is a big <laughs> jumble of words. Um, a very easy um, um, to kind of think about. Digital assistant is basically a conversational user interface into enterprise applications and data. And not only that, it is um, also I have the ability to connect to multiple backend systems, just not, uh, not just a single one, and to help you to accomplish your uh, uh, daily work. Um, and, and one of the reasons um, uh, we're investing in this is, is because this uh, statistics, uh, based on a leading analyst, by 2022, 70% of the white collar workers is going to interact with a conversational platform on a daily basis. And why is that the case? Well, it's because, first of all, it delivers the most natural conversation possible, just like what we're talking uh, right now. There's no interface. No interface, actually, a lot, a lot of times, is the best interface. There's no application to download. It would just work uh, through the, uh, um, the popular messaging applications that uh, is on your device today. I mean, we all have hundreds of uh, mobile apps on our device, um, but chances are we only use three or five of them, and chances are one or two of them is a messaging application, right? So digital system can be delivered through a, uh, uh, any of the uh, popular messaging applications, so there's no additional application to download. It's always available, so unlike live agent, 
uh, usually, uh, which is, has working hours, digital system can be available 24 by 7 by 365 um, and is available across a variety of messaging applications. I can interact through web uh, chat bubble. I can interact with um, maybe Facebook Messenger for enterprise um, messaging. I can interact with a digital system through, um, um, through Slack or through um, uh, Microsoft Teams. And most importantly, digital assistant. I mean, I think most of you heard the term chatbot, right? Digital assistant is basically a layer sits on top of the chatbot that provides a single interface into multiple of these chatbot um, or backend skills. And we'll explain what that is very shortly. So it's a single interface into all of these different backend applications and uh, data. All right. And uh, so further, uh, and talk about that, and basically, Digital Assistant um, has the role of be able to uh, combine the independent chatbot skills into a single conversational user interface. Um, and, and one of the things, and where Oracle really started, and when we started to look at the uh, Digital Assistant, is really back in 2016, when uh, Larry Ellison first um, uh, demonstrated the, uh, uh, the Digital Assistant, uh, or chatbot, uh, at um, Open World. And it was a demo around um, Larry um, uh, ordering a business card using a chatbot. At the time, he had just changed his title to uh, chair on the uh, executive chairman of the board, and also, um, and also, uh, sorry, I wasn't sure if um, there was some issue. Uh, and also, CIO, uh, sorry, CTO. So he has to change business card. Fast forward to 2018. Actually, Larry looks much more happy and relaxed. This is when we actually, the digital system is uh, gone production uh, and uh, Larry Ellison demonstrated a uh, filing expense report using Oracle Digital Assistant. Uh, basically, it was a lunch at Nobu for 400 bucks. Um, I don't know if, uh, if you have gone to Open World at that time, he really had fun doing that. And, and really what he has um, um, brought to Oracle to the table uh, around digital system is to get all of the um, uh, key teams within digital system to uh, or within Oracle, all the teams within Oracle to develop digital system to automate key functionalities through um, a conversational user interface. And if we look at all of these different uh, use cases for digital system, there's quite a few. The, 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 the one that we see the most, the media traction is in customer service where it's able to um, offload a lot of the customer service calls with an automated with a digital assistant. And that not only um, reduces a lot of the uh, uh, wait time, increase the customer satisfaction, and also help to reduce the uh, staffing resources. Uh, there are also a lot of the uh, um, use cases around HCM. And actually later, uh, uh, Dave is gonna talk about how people solve HCM can um, leverage digital assistant to provide easier access and, uh, um, you know, to be honest, a lot of times the HCM or HR application isn't something that user uses day to day. However, if you do need to use it, you need to get to the information quickly. And digital system can help you to do exactly that. There are also use cases around ERP and SCM where it really it's about uh, get, delivering critical information where it's needed. And last but not least, uh, this is an area that Laura is going to talk about later on, is around CRM. Basically, allow your sales force to be much more efficient in terms of getting the information they need to engage customer, and which in turn accelerates sales cycle, right? And uh, revenue generation is more critical than ever um, in, in these uh, current climate, and having the salesperson having that information at their fingertips is very critical. All right. So exactly from a, a product standpoint, from a technology standpoint, what exactly is an Oracle Digital System? And it's actually very easy to kind of visualize. Digital System uh, is a cloud service hosted by Oracle that um, extends backend um, SaaS applications or on-premise applications like PeopleSoft, JD Edwards, uh, or CX um, uh, cloud applications, extend those to conversational user interfaces that you see on the right side of the screen, whether it's uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, Slack, and, and um, Facebook uh, Messenger, and uh, WhatsApp, and so forth. At a high level, you can also think of Digital Assistant 
is basically taking user text input right through these messaging channels and turn that translate that into API calls that machines can understand and then return the data back and then translate into text that human can understand so basically a high level you can think of it as, as a translator between human and language and the the language that uh, application understands which is apis all right what are uh, i kind of use the concept of skill exactly what is a skill i, I use this terminology skill um, which is kind of synonymous to chatbot exactly what is it okay the first thing um to um to to discuss here is that um we have a, lot, a variety of backend application like supply chain, ERP, HCM, CX, right? Each one of these teams uh, from Oracle um, is delivering a set of um, skills. And again, these skills are essentially a chatbot that automates a portion, a module of the functionality for that application. So for um, for HCM, for example, it could be a module for employee goals, for absence management, and so forth. Um, and uh, ERP, it may be for procurement and expenses. And of course, you, the customer, would also be able to, and, and partners also be able to build uh, third-party skills or applications. And um, all of these goes into a skill store hosted by the digital assistant uh, platform. And what customer would do is simply pick these uh, skills from a skill store and compose their digital system. So, and digital system then becomes a single interface into these different skills that customers or you pick uh, and deliver that through a, a variety of uh, uh, messaging applications. Okay. And uh, there's a bunch of um, uh, skills that's um, coming from Oracle even deli either deliver as out-of-the-box uh, products or as samples or templates. And uh, across uh, Apps Unlimited, across Oracle uh, SaaS um, uh, offerings, and also global business unit, even verticals like financial services, hospitality, food and beverage are planning uh, to deliver skills, skill samples or products. All right. so. Um, the best way to probably talk about and further the concept of a digital assistant is probably just do a quick demo of the uh, digital assistant, right? So I'm going to uh, hopefully get to see my uh, um, okay, sorry. Sometimes uh, um, okay. New audio. Um, okay. Um, let me quickly launch my. Um, uh, as it also happens, um, this is the fun of uh, working from home and doing live demo is connectivity sometimes drops. Uh, hopefully you can see my screen and my iPhone. Okay, great, we're in business. Um, all right, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is really a couple of the um, um, examples of how Oracle internally is using digital system. And uh, there's a lot of digital system actually already been built for Oracle used by um, uh, our employees or by us. Um, a first example I like to show is just a simple employee directory application. I can say who is uh, David Bain, and this point and um, um, the digital system in this case is connecting to um, uh, our uh, internal implementation of the uh, HCM. And uh, well, it looks like there are two David Bain, <laughs> so I get to choose which one. So it looks like it's the PeopleSoft tools. I'll type in with the number one, and then I get the uh, critical information, uh, key information from David, so I can go and talk to him and see where he's located at. Um, the the one, of the one of the things I want to call out is um, this is all through SMS channel, 
on my phone, but I can also access this through our internal uh, communication messaging application like Slack. I can be available through any really uh, messaging applications. Uh, just for the purpose of this demo, I'm showing the most simplest uh, user interface, SMS. And uh, I can also say who is his manager. And uh, it will come back with um, um, Davis manager information. Um, cell phone connection is not great. It will come back eventually. The, uh, oh, there we go. Dave Avenge manager is Rebecca. And, um, I can, um, and now one of the things that you notice is um, I didn't have to say who is David Bain's manager. I only have to say is who is his manager, right? So that's one of the, uh, the key uh, characteristics for digital assistant is be able to remember what we call state, basically the context, right? So that's very, you know, one of the basic actually features of uh, digital assistant is in, in a course of conversation, it's able to remember the context of what the user is, um, has asked and said before. You can also ask another question. Um, let's see uh where is uh let's say i'm interested in understand where where is rebecca uh located okay and it's going to again go back to employee directory and uh pull back that uh, information there we go oh I didn't know Rebecca works in Idaho, but uh, okay, <laughs> that's good to know. All right, so another example I want to quickly show is um, another um, uh, digital system that we're using internally, which I think, um, uh, wow, all right, is an expand spot and a digital system, um, which is really interesting is um, um, first I can say hi. Um, one of the cool thing about um, uh, this digital assistant, it, it tells me uh, what to do. Uh, I can either just upload a receipt to create an expense item, or I can just go through the process of um, um, providing a detail by text. I'm actually going to, um, um, let's see, grab the, um, uh, let me see. Whoops. I'm actually going to find a, uh, a copy of the receipt, which uh, now you're going to see all the pictures I've taken recently. There you go. Okay. And um, just the interest time, rather than taking a, finding another receipt, I took a picture of the receipt earlier. And I can just simply upload a receipt, and I'll just make this a little bigger for you to uh, to be able to uh, to see what what is on the uh, receipt, right? It's basically it's a gas receipt um, for a, a gas station Speedway in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It I took it. Um, I spent it last November. All right. Now. Um, and this is also important to remember. Now I'm using SMS, right? You're thinking, how does security actually work? Well, actually, it, it's integrated with um, Oracle Single Sign-On. Right. So I'm going to log in, and um, sign in, and I have uh, two-factor authentication turned on. I think. Yeah. So I'll have to put in my 722553. 722553. Oops. Yeah, let's see if that worked. As with live demos, this is always a lot of fun. Um, okay, let me try it again. I think I'm having some networking issues. Oh, this time worked. All right, so what happens is um, the receipt is going to get uploaded to the, uh, 
to uh, our expense system and uh, is doing a live um, optical character recognition behind the scenes and uh, decipher exactly what information is in the receipt. All right. And, uh, and then it's going to create an a, a expense item for me automatically. Um, so let's see. Today there's some, um, maybe it's, yeah. Okay, there you go. So it's able to properly recognize the, um, uh, um, let me move the, uh, it's out of the way. Um, the, um, the amount, the type, even the merchant. So uh, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to say, um, and to submit it, all I have to do is just type in the security code to go ahead and submit it. So it's able to pick up the merchant, the fuel type, uh, uh, sorry, the, the type of the expenses, and also the uh, amount and the date. Great. So this is actually being used pretty much by everyone at work or nowadays it's, it was very useful when everyone's traveling of course now one no one is traveling but uh anyway you get the general idea all right so moving on um another uh, area where we have done a lot of work in integrating with um uh between the oracle uh, where the oracle um uh application teams has leveraged digital assistant is the uh, a CX service um, uh, area. And uh, one of our leading product is actually uh, Oracle Service Cloud, which used to be called right now, that has a lot of the live agent capabilities. It also has a um, um, rules engine that guides through um, um, qualification type of questions called uh, Oracle uh, Intelligent Advisory, which used to be called Oracle Policy Automation. Um, and there's actually quite a bit of out-of-the-box integration between Digital Assistant and the um, uh, CX service. Um, so first of all, there's two ways for Digital Assistant to integrate with the Service Cloud Live Agent, uh, right? And uh, one of the key feature for Service Cloud is the Live Agent feature. Digital Assistant can sit either sit in front of the um, uh, Service Cloud to basically take the first level of the, um, um, the calls from the customer and then uh, hand off to uh, the, the request to the um, live agent if needed. The second way is through, um, um, okay. The second way is digital assistant can also act as a agent. Uh, so as one of the live agents, so essentially as a virtual agent. So it's the service cloud platform that would do the first level of um, uh, skills routing then decide to route to the digital system platform or service cloud um, or to the live agent. The reason we have these two format is some of the customer prefer digital system to take all the calls initially and then route to the uh, live agent. Some of the customer prefers to use the uh, pre-existing skills routing um, uh, expertise, kind of the setting um, in the service cloud and do the routing uh, based on these predefined rules to either digital assistant or maybe this is a VIP or special type of question to a live uh, human agent. Okay, and uh, some of the other um, integration we have is with uh, Oracle Intelligent Advisor. Intelligent Advisor, which used to be called Oracle Policy Automation, uh, again, is a platform that allows you to um, enable automated uh, uh, complex policy handling. I'll show, um, do a quick demo of that very quickly, shortly. Um, we also have, um, and one of the features for Service Cloud is knowledge articles. So there's also a tight knowledge uh, article integration. So it's very easy for digital assistant to get information from a, a knowledge article. All right, so let me do a quick um, demo of the uh, Oracle um, uh, Digital System Service Cloud integration. So on the um, uh, right side of my screen here is a customer portal where I see a little chat bubble that um, I can interact with um, the digital assistant from this fictitious company called uh, Supreno Fitness, which is uh, there's a very interesting picture of someone using a, a 
fitness equipment nowadays we all work out from home work from home work out from home gyms are still mostly closed depends on where you're at um so this is a very uh, timely um, um demo i guess okay so um so as a customer will come in and uh, this is the um, a demo where digital system is sitting in front of the service cloud and i can get, just go ahead and say hi uh, and can pick what i wanted to do in this case i wanted to uh, um, find out okay what do i want to search for uh, i can say when can i expect oops when i let's say i order a piece of equipment uh fitness uh, equipment i think it's i uh, order heart rate monitor uh so i can say when can i expect my order Oops. Uh, when can okay so uh it's able to get to the uh uh detected that based on my login it knows which order I have active so it comes back and say is this the one that um, uh, is coming so looks like it's coming tomorrow that's great okay now um, um, I got uh, the heart rate monitor and I started to use it but I couldn't really get it to work so uh, um, I can ask the question so I have a question now is my heart rate monitor um, not working right yeah I bought fit 25 and uh, it says on a machine located near your spa or shower facility so yeah well actually I have to put it in my uh, uh, bathroom because I don't have a place to put this thing and uh, oh, looks like that's uh, there's a problem here the moisture build up and so forth so um, digital assistant in this case can help to answer a lot of the frequently asked questions and deflect the call from the um, um, from a live agent. You can even say uh, create a uh, support ticket. Say yes. Um, and also, um, I can also uh, um, execute uh, and also uh, try to do another oper um, transaction. So, for example, what if I want to uh, return something? So. Uh, Returning. Okay. Okay. Then in this case, um, it's um, I, I know it asked me what I'm trying to uh, return and uh, what is the uh, item number item I wanted to return. And well, I bought this uh, on uh, the Christmas Eve last year, so. Uh, uh, 2019. Uh, uh, say I just changed my mind, for example. Uh, I should say uh, it's defective, but doesn't really matter. Um, however, okay, well, it says I'm not eligible to return the product, and the reason is because of uh, um, I should have uh, returned it uh, within the allowable date. So behind the scenes, this is actually integrating with Oracle Intelligent Advisor and policy automation. And it is that engine to determine that the return is not eligible. So here's not an example of how a conversation can be automated um, by connecting through Intelligent Advisor. Well, one last thing I'm going to do because I'm going to running out of time. I want to give my guest speaker enough time. Is I can. What if I say I want, I want to cancel my contract? You know, for some reason I'm not really not happy with um, not able to return it. Um, and um, oops, sorry to turn my uh, sorry I want to cancel okay and um, in this case okay it knows okay well you want to cancel this is an escalation I better escalate to a live agent so here on the left side, um, I have a, a window where the live agent would typically see. So um, I'm going to um, start to accept the call. So on the left side, I'm now acting as a live agent, communicating directly with the, uh, the end user through the same windows that um, the, uh, the user is actually interacting. 
And the best things also is, is you can see, I can also see the conversation history. I can see that this person is having problem with the heart rate monitor and so forth. So I can respond, uh, say, I'm sorry, I can help you with that. Okay, and then you can see on the right side, now the conversation is seamlessly handed off to a, um, a live agent. And a live agent can take over from that point. And live agent can also hand the conversation back to the, uh, the digital assistant once the, um, uh, the conversation live agent chat ends here. All right, so uh, a quick overview of the, um, um, the service cloud integration. And um, we do have a, a, a very nice customer in the Chicago area, Com Edison, that have done this level of um, uh, digital system service cloud integration that um, most of the questions like reporting power outages and payment can be done through digital system, but it also can hand off the um, uh, request to a live agent um for more uh, complex issues com edison is the um a very large utility company over four million customers in the chicago area and this really helped them to deflect a lot of the live agent calls and provide much better customer service through the uh, digital assistant um and especially through a chat interface where they can report power outages for example from their mobile device and pay their bill and so forth all right next i'm going to turn this over to laura so um, um, so um, I'll hand it off for maybe someone. Yep, thank you so much. All right. So, um, not sure if you see my screen. Yep, yeah, yeah, we can see your screen. Okay. All right, good. So, um, hello everyone. I'm Laura, and I'm part of the um, product management team for CX Sales at Oracle. And I have the privilege of working with a wonderful team to build and deliver the Oracle Sales Assistant. For those of you new to it, what's Oracle Sales Assistant? So Oracle Sales Assistant is a chatbot that is specialized in interacting with Oracle CX Sales, and it is especially designed for sales reps and sales managers. It is built as you would expect on Oracle Digital um, Assistant platform, and that comes with a whole slew of benefits, which we're leveraging, and among those, my favorite to mention always is the ability to interact with multiple skills through the same bot. What this means is that if customers have multiple Oracle products, such as ERP, SCM, CRM, and HCM, then the assistant is capable of interacting with all these via the same bot. So the analogy to make is thinking of the assistant as of a human being, which is skilled in many areas, so that the ODA technology allows the users to interact with only one assistant and get answers coming from Oracle CX Sales, HCM, and other products. And I will also actually demo some of the use cases in a moment. So going through some of the capabilities of Oracle Sales Assistant, the sales reps can now obtain the sales briefing via asking the assistant instead of navigating in Oracle CX Sales. Similarly, the uh, sales rep can view the pipeline, get a list of opportunities by closed period, revenue or close date. They can uh, follow up on an appointment by creating a call report, scheduling a follow-up appointment, or creating follow-up tasks, get the current or the next appointment briefing, reschedule an appointment, um, get account opportunity or contact details, create a task or view task details, or retrieve an open service request for an account. So what you see on the left-hand side was actually the uh, chatbot on an SMS channel similar to what Joe presented a bit earlier. Now looking at the channel support, Oracle Sales Assistant is generally available on SMS and also on Microsoft Teams with direct chat. We plan to release under controlled availability the mobile and the web channel support for 
21A with a GA target for 21B. To note that the Oracle Sales Assistant is supported also on other channels. However, what I'm highlighting here is the out of the box ones. And these are fully supported and also integrated with CX Sales. For Microsoft Teams, as I mentioned, we GA the direct chat and we're working now on the multi-user um, experience in Microsoft Teams. And I'm going to demo, demo you some of that uh, work that's being done. So for the demo, um, I'm going to highlight some of the user experience and some uh, collaboration use cases with Microsoft Teams. There are a number of scenarios that I was planning to show you today, and they all relate to the use of Microsoft Teams. The demo will start with the sales rep being at her desk and browsing in CX Sales to an opportunity detail. And then from there, the rep would want to start collaborating with the opportunity team members. So decides to create a Microsoft Teams channel from CX Sales. And then while in Microsoft Teams, the rep can collaborate with the team members and also retrieve and update the information in CX Sales. The second scenario relates to the sales rep chatting with the Oracle Sales Assistant one-on-one -on -one in preparation for a customer visit. And with this scenario, the rep carries some of the prep activities via Microsoft Teams on mobile, interacting with the assistant on the mobile device. And one of the actions taken by the rep relates to finding an expert able to help with an open service request. And here is where we actually uh, show you the beauty of um, Oracle Digital Assistant Platform running on the back end. The service request is basically the service request that you saw Joe um, creating using the live agent support. So that is now accessible in the CRM system. And now with that, um, you are going to see the rep also trying to get help from an expert who is able to help with that service request. And yet again, here is another skill that is accessed through the same bot. And that is the um, assistant for um, HCM, which also Joe showed you. So we'll go through those uh, demos and there will be one third scenario, pretty short, that takes place after the customer visit ends when the rep aims at following up on the meeting and logging a call report and also an expense report in ERP, which again shows how um, you can use the bot to access some other systems such as expenses and log an expense report if you have these systems already in place. So as the demo speaks a thousand words, um, here is uh, the uh, CX sales. You may recognize here Oracle CX sales. And in here, the rep would navigate to the opportunity. So going to sales opportunities and picking the integrated rack solution opportunity. This opportunity has a team associated to it. So the rep can choose to create a Microsoft team channel to collaborate with these team members. Now when doing so, the opportunity members are automatically added to the channel in Microsoft Teams together with Oracle Sales Assistant. And once in the channel, the sales rep can ask the assistant for the opportunity details and the recommendations for the current opportunity stage. And the assistant suggests to review the products that are attached to the deal. So the rep can then ask the assistant to retrieve the quote by either clicking on the button or on the previous display card or by typing view active quote. So the sales rep can further look at the proposal by conversationally asking for it or by clicking on the link that's displayed in the quote card. Now, since, since this is a team channel, the team members with similar privileges can take the same action without leaving Microsoft Teams environment. So the sales rep can ask the team members in the channel to review the proposal themselves and if the opportunity stage can be updated based on this review. The team members can take a similar action, accessing the proposal by clicking on the link that's displayed in the card. And after reviewing the proposal, the team members can confirm that the sales page can be updated. So the sales rep can ask the assistant to update the opportunity by typing update opportunity. And the assistant is capable of keeping the context and ask the sales rep if the opportunity to update is integrated black solutions. Once the sales rep confirms, then the assistant displays the updatable fields defined in the configuration for opportunity. 
so the rep can then update the sales stage to negotiation and save the records. And this would obviously sync the information back into Oracle CX Sales and the newly saved information would be displayed uh, in the channel. Now, uh, the second scenario, as I said, besides collaboration uh, with the team, the sales rep can converse with the assistant one-on-one, -on -one, so via chat in Microsoft Teams. And here's the use case that the sales rep has a meeting coming up with Devon Networks. So he asked the assistant to retrieve the account details for this account, checking on the latest news on this account. And uh, this is available via integration we did with DataFox. So the rep also wants to check if there are any service requests open and notes that um, the latest update for a service request uh, refers to a critical um, SR that is open and that relates to issues with the analytics reports on the servers that he just sold. So obviously he wants to get an update because some insights into possible solutions to the sales that ends up contacting an uh, analytics expert. Now, this particular question, who is an expert in analytics? This obviously does not pertain to the CRM system. However, the bot is able to route this question to the employee directory system, to the HCM system and provides the, and provide back the details of two contacts that are available who are matching actually the rep's time zone. So now the rep has to leave for the meeting and what he does is he takes his cell phone and he's opening Microsoft Teams on his mobile device. To note that the history of the conversation with the sales assistant is available to the rep and he can call the analytics expert to discuss possible solutions to the analytics issue that the customer is experiencing. Now, uh, the next scenario here is when the um, rep returns from the meeting, so returns to the car and he wants to follow up on the meeting. So um, the um, just by typing follow up or just talking into the device, the bot will offer options for following up, such as adding a call report. So the user can click on add a call report and with that it will be presented with a short form to qualify the experience and for the notes the sales rep can just use voice to dictate the notes and they will be uh, transferred into text and when the create button is um, pushed then what happens is that all this information is getting actually saved into CX sales. Further on, can uh, update the opportunity and similar to what you saw in the desktop app, um, the, uh, the bot keeps the context, it asks if this is the opportunity to be updated and it shows the updatable fields into a card so the um, sales rep can update the uh, sales page and save. And further on, as I was saying, just uh, one other use case here after saving this opportunity details is that the, um, the rep is aiming at uh, creating an um, expense report. And again, because you're on a mobile device, you can just use voice. So it says create expense um, meal $45 today. Now there are some configurable fields, what is needed for actually um, filing an expense report. And that's the part that um, Joe already uh, showed you. So um, there may be some other questions asked if need be, if not, you can just attach the receipt and it will take from that receipt all the information that is required for filing an expense report. So that's, uh, that's what I, I wanted to show you for the demo and the SMS channel you saw a little bit earlier. Uh, in regards to provisioning, just um, to point a few things out that ODA and Oracle Sales Assistant are readily available with um, Oracle CX Sales. So um, while it is an out of the box um, solution, it is configurable and customers um, can configure the assistant and set up the channels <clears throat> once, they, uh, once they decide they would like to use Oracle Sales Assistant and there is a three month pilot program available through which we're hand-holding customers um, and their SIs or partners working with customers who are willing to try the integration for free. So you have three months to, to use the, um, the bot, uh, after which there is a $12 uh, per user per month um, that is uh, available with the SKU that's on the screen. 
Great, thank you. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. Go oh, ahead. just just the end. This is the end of it. So this is uh, just wanted to tell that there is a forum, and you can um, ask questions into the forum that you see here. That's all. Great. Thank you. Passing right. back. Thank you, Laura. Thank you so thank much. You. Um, and uh, next, I think we wanted to turn this over to David Bain from PeopleSoft team. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Thanks. Thanks very much. Um, yeah, I do just, just want to show you. Uh, um, I, my name is Dave Bain. I'm a uh, senior director of PeopleSoft People Tools uh, Product Strategy. I think you saw my contact information there uh, a, a little bit earlier. I just kind of wanted to give you a, a real brief overview of what we're doing in PeopleSoft and, and show you something um, or show you a quick demo. This is a, a PeopleSoft system. We saw the company uh, directory that Oracle is using. Uh, that's available in the PeopleSoft applications now as, as well. So in this case, I just go to a title. Um, I'm starting my, uh, my company uh, directory and I can type in, well, let's see, who is Kathy? Clips. I can just type a, a name in, um, ask who Kathy Clips is, and the digital assistant uh, from PeopleSoft, right, directly from the PeopleSoft application, will go out and and find them. I whoops. I can um, I can type in other things like uh, let's say what is Alex Duncan's whoops Duncan's phone number. You know, some of the things that uh, company directories really, uh, it's very important for company direct directories to do. Looking up Alex Duncan's phone number, there is, there's his phone number. Now, if I typed in, instead of uh, saying Alex Duncan, if I said, uh, what is Duncan's, oops, phone number? Um, in this case, we find that there's more than one Duncan in the system. So it's going to say to me that I found five of them and I can scroll between the different Duncans and, and uh, find the one that, uh, that I wanted. Or I can do things like, um, like Joe showed uh, earlier, who, who, who reports to Edmund Donna, Donahue. And I can look at uh, reporting structures in here and, and navigate through um, reporting structures as well. In this case, it says there's 11 direct reports. So I can navigate through and, and it's only gonna give me um, uh, chunks of these in, in several at a time. I think it's five at a time. So that just gives you a, a, you know, a quick overview there that, that, that uh, PeopleSoft is working to make sure that, uh, or to make these uh, uh, chatbots available in, in our system as well in the PeopleSoft system. And let me, um, let me just kind of do a very quick, um, this is the uh, employee directory assistant that we, uh, uh, we took a look at. Uh, I, you know, the, the first question or, the, or, or a, lot of, a lot of folks are very curious about how all of this works, right? And, and to uh, just kind of summarize this in, in one slide, we have our PeopleSoft system that's, that's running either on premises or, uh, you know, maybe hosted by a partner, or maybe it's running the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, um, but it's your PeopleSoft uh, application. And then you have the Oracle Digital Assistant, which is a platform as a service, right, which is a, a service that Oracle is uh, is running for you. And there's this little, uh, little piece, uh, well, I guess it's a piece of a puzzle that we have built in PeopleSoft to really connect the two together. And there's a number of things that need to be done. You know, first of all, when you're using a digital assistant, do you have access to the information that you're asking for, right? That's clearly important. That's that's done through authorization. Um, how do we hook up the user interface? I showed you in the demo. I showed you the tile that uh, that we click on. How do we hook that up? Where does that come from? How do we brand it? And how do we tell it exactly which um, which skill to go talk to? That's all uh, all done through configuration in the user interface uh, in PeopleSoft applications. And then when when the Oracle Digital Assistant is going back into into PeopleSoft, how does it know how to get that information from PeopleSoft? And we've built a a framework uh, for services, the application services framework that makes it very easy to create lightweight services that go um, between uh, the Oracle Digital Assistant. Oracle Digital Assistant and, and PeopleSoft. So we've really closed this, uh, solved this piece of the puzzle. And with that, 
it um, it's let us um, um, build out a number of different skills or put a number of different skills in our roadmap, both both from the HCM product line where we have company directory and we have absence assistant now. And we're looking at, at expanding that to uh, to more and more over time with employee self-service and recruiting, uh, getting into the payroll and, and looking at um, uh, paycheck lookup and some of those types of things. Uh, and also on the ERP product line with a number of offerings in the ERP uh, product line as well. All of our skills will be available in the PeopleSoft skills store. So um, rather than having to deploy files to you through PUM images, which is, is the delivery mechanism that we've used up to this point, in July, we're gonna shift over, we're gonna make these available in the skill store. And the nice benefit about that is much easier to deploy into your digital assistant environment, number one. Number two, we can version those skills. So we can put a version one, version two, version three out there. We can align those versions with the PUM images so that, if you're on image 38, you and you're you're do a make me current with 38, you can uh, take that in the version one. If you go to image 40 and it has a um, has changes to the uh, digital assistant or one of the skills with it, you can um, you can migrate to the version. Uh, and it also gives us the extensibility toolkit, um, uh, which is a nice benefit. So those are all um, available with PeopleSoft. Uh, I I. Know that we're kind of running late here, so I want to. I'll just uh, pause. If you have any questions, please put them into the um, uh, chat or ask the questions, and uh, I'll be able to answer those um, at the end of the session. Great. Hey, thank you so much, David. And uh, I know we started late, so I'm hoping everyone can hang with us a little bit longer. Um, and um, uh, and we have another segment coming up, uh, or actually a short segment with. Um, um, uh, with Erwin uh, talking about JD Edwards. Now um, um, I know that Collaborate is where we're um, sorry, Quest Forum in this case, but Collaborate has always been a um, great place for PeopleSoft and, and JD Edwards customers to attend. So I also want to talk about what JD Edwards is doing with uh, Oracle Digital Assistant. Hey Joe, thanks a lot. I appreciate uh, being a part of this uh, virtual um, call today. Uh, so, uh, my name is Irvin Rhodes, and I'm a uh, product manager with the Oracle J.D. Edwards uh, team. And uh, what we did is that we uh, leveraged uh, Oracle Technologies uh, to do a proof of concept, uh, mainly using Visual Builder uh, Cloud Service and Oracle Digital Assistant to create a mobile app uh, where we have uh, an embedded uh, chatbot that we call Edward. And so, we also use uh, our JD Edwards Orchestrator Studio, which is part of our uh, JD Edwards tool set. And uh, the reason that that's important is because that was the, the, the that tooling is what we use to access the data uh, from JD Edwards so that a customer could, um, with the chatbot, have a conversational experience. And I, I, I see that Christina has the, the video up, so I'll let the video speak for itself and just give you an idea of what it is that we did. Christina, if you would, please. Chatbots that are available from Oracle and JD Edwards Enterprise One, you can quickly provide information to individuals in your organization, such as the procurement manager, anytime and anywhere. The procurement manager is responsible for reviewing and approving purchase orders. At times when the procurement manager is away from her desk and she has a few minutes to spare, she can access the JD Edwards Enterprise One Purchase Order Approval mobile application from her smartphone or tablet. This demonstration shows how Oracle Digital Assistant can be integrated with Enterprise One mobile applications to provide the procurement manager a conversational experience when approving purchase orders. The process begins with the procurement manager opening the PO Approval mobile application to review and approve purchase orders. First, she wants to review purchase orders, regardless of order type, that exceed $2,000. She can engage the digital assistant or chatbot, Edward, to view only the purchase orders that exceed $2,000. The procurement manager engages with Edward by tapping the Edward icon. She can then chat with Edward, either via the keyboard or the talk to chat feature. 
she gives the command list orders above $2,000. The digital assistant identifies the intent, which is to list the orders greater than $2,000 in total cost and executes the specific orchestration to return the orders of all order types that are greater than $2,000. The procurement manager sees that there are four orders that meet this criteria. Once Edward presents the list, the procurement manager reviews the orders and asks Edward to approve one of the orders. She gives the command, approve order 5094. Edward understands the command and asks for confirmation before approving. The manager confirms the approval by tapping the yes button. Once confirmed, Edward executes a specific orchestration that approves the order. Then Edward lets the procurement manager know that the order has been approved. Edward also asks if she wants to approve any other orders in the list. The manager says no. Then Edward asks if he can be of further assistance. The procurement manager taps the yes button because now she wants to see all of the requisition orders. She types the command, get all requisition orders. Edward fetches all of the requisition orders with the help of a rest call to an orchestration and displays them. The procurement manager sees there are nine requisition orders awaiting approval. After reviewing the orders, she tells Edward to approve all the requisition orders. Edward asks for confirmation to approve all the orders and the procurement manager taps the yes button. Edward approves all the orders and asks to be of further assistance. The procurement manager says no, and this ends the conversation with Edward. This example showed how a chatbot or digital assistant could be used to interact with JD Edwards Enterprise One through orchestrations and the use of natural conversational language. JD Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator and Oracle Technology enabling you to take action anytime and anywhere. For more information. So, uh, so those, those are some of the things that we're, we're doing with, uh, with uh, Chatbot, uh, with JD Edwards. And uh, we're also providing uh, what we call learning paths so that uh, customers who are interested in, uh, you know, leveraging uh, ODA and uh, Visual Builder Cloud Service can go out to the Learn JDE website and they can access these learning paths that we're we're creating, and it just gives you an idea how you could get started. Uh, we're we're not putting anything out there on, on a price list or anything like that, but we're just uh, providing as much collateral um, and assistance as we can to help customers get started. So I uh, thank you for the time today, and um, if you have any questions, I can just please put those in the chat. Great, thank you, everyone. And uh, you know, with the remote. Uh, Presentation format, it's really hard to um, deal with some of the logistics and apologies for starting late. Um, so, Christina, could you uh, uh, maybe um, return the uh, screen back to me? I have a couple of wrap up slides uh, and also, um, um, yeah, thank you so much. All right, and uh, again, thank you so much for. Um, um, joining with us today. Um, just very quickly, um, for PeopleSoft, there are actually a, a number of customers that are already using Digital Assistant against PeopleSoft backend. So this is not just something that we're talking about. Honeywell, actually, um, and I wasn't sure if anyone from Honeywell is actually attending, um, but um, uh, if you are, you have great customers of ours. And Honeywell has uh, worked with a, a great partner, Intracy, to build a digital system extending PeopleSoft backend and provide critical and uh, HR help serve um, self service um, through digital system and also through Microsoft Teams. Um, and Honeywell has been a great partner with us also to work with Microsoft on extending digital system through Microsoft Teams. And you can see there's um, um, a lot of uh, value that's being delivered to improve uh, HR service. Um, the Honeywell HR team really wants to be the best, live the best employee experiences and digital system is a key part of that. And as for JD Edwards, um, Pernod Ricard, which is actually has a company in UK called, uh, it's a small whiskey company called Shivas. Um, and uh, they're using uh, Oracle Digital Assistant to automate procurement 
that's um, hosted by JD Edwards. All right. So uh, again, with JD Edwards, we already have customer using Digital Assistant um, and uh, automating a lot of the uh, functionality. All right. To summarize, what is the uh, what we're doing? Oracle is really incredible across the board. Um, almost all the teams are delivering conversational user interface through digital, digital assistant. You see just a few sample of that today. Um, what really where we're strong at is really with these pre-built skills and templates. Uh, we have very advanced um, natural language processing. We also uh, focus on very strong privacy and security. We comply with all of the um, um, key standards with um, uh, such as GDPR and we're, um, we're actually just being uh, FedRAMP compliant. So we can now be go in the US uh, data center um, and be absolutely secure to deliver a digital assistant experience for government customers now. All right, and um, so the uh, you can um, um, get more information with this uh, URL here, oracle.com slash DA. Um, and uh, to get more information, um, and of course, we're here to, um, uh, we'll try to answer some questions, but it looks like um, hopefully this is all um, uh, helpful for you to, to get an um, idea of what we're doing with uh, Oracle Digital Assistant across all the Oracle teams. All right, thank you so much, and um, I wish you um, having a great rest of the conference. Um, by the way, I do have another session coming up later today around best practices for uh, building digital assistant, where I'm going to go through some of the best practices on how you design a conversational user and experience and so forth. I also want to thank uh, Laura, uh, David, and Irwin for sharing the, the great digital assistant work that you have done, and also Christina for hosting uh, the call and dealing with all the logistics of um, flipping through different screens and camera. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for hosting the session. Uh, Laura, Irvin, Dave, thank you guys for demoing and providing some resources specifically to each product. For the folks on the phone, I actually didn't see any other question, any questions come through besides asking if there's a recording available, um, which there is, and we'll follow up with you guys shortly on that recording itself. So um, again, thank you all for joining us. We hope everybody has a great day and we look forward to seeing you on another session. Thanks you guys again. Great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.